Hey guys, I'm out in the morning for a run. I'm really blessed today because it's quite overcast, which is pretty rare, at least it has been for most of the summer here. And I love my morning runs, but I'm not the kind of guy that gets up at the crack of dawn to get the cool weather. So usually by the time I get up, it's too sunny. So most of the summer I do all my running in the late afternoon and evening. So this is a little blessing and I'm gonna go enjoy it. See you guys in a bit. I just ran for two miles at an easy warm-up pace, which I like to do. Um, now I gotta decide what to do. The sun's starting to come up, so I don't think I wanna go on a really long run and get caught really far from home when the sun comes out and get all sunburned. So instead today, I'm gonna do some sprint interval training. This is my favorite hill to run here in um, Long Beach. It's not really a hill, it's just an incline up the parking lot. It's about a nice 200 meter incline here. That's perfect for sprint training. And that's something I like to do. I like to do, in addition to all my like long 10 plus mile runs, I find it really helpful every week or two to do some interval training. I'll probably try to bust some fast sprints up this hill. By the way, I'm out here on my Ultra Instinct 3.5 running shoes. Just got them about a month or two ago and Look forward to an upcoming thorough review on them. Okay, I gotta do a little tiny bit of bragging here. This segment here on Strava, this Juniper Hill for runners, I'm in like the top 15 or top 20 fastest Strava runners of all time, um, which is cool because there's like, you know, I'm sure a thousand and plus, two thousand plus people that have, have done this. So yeah, this thing really plays to my strengths because, you know, I'm a huge guy. I'm six foot five, you know, it's almost two meters tall. 80 kilograms, 180 pounds. I'm not a distance runner by build, I'm more of a sprinter, so this allows my body to really do its thing. You know, I feel like I'm always holding back on long runs, so on sprints here, I can let loose. So I'm not gonna go for a PR today, but you know, I'm gonna have some fun here. I'm in between intervals right now, and guess who's out here on the bluff doing yoga? Out there in the blue hat and gray shirt and black yoga pants, that's Angie. So yeah, we're both out here doing our thing. I'm a bad person. I just went out there and interrupted her just to get a sip of her water. <laughs> Dying of thirst. All right, well, six intervals up this dreaded hill. I'm done. Do a nice, slow recovery, run back home, and eat some food. I just checked my Strava, and guess what? I got a PR on one of my repeats there. I beat my last personal record by one second, so I'm pretty stoked. I move up now to number 13 of all time. I just got back in the house and just uploaded my running data to Strava and I'm gonna have my usual thing here guys I got like nine or ten large bananas here a whole bunch of ice to cool down um, Some almond milk a little um, coconut water and I'll throw in like a peach or two to round it out Give it a little more bulk and some more flavor And there's the completed smoothie you filled the Vitamix all the way up to the top So I'm ready. It's a well-deserved big breakfast smoothie for me. So lunchtime, we got some corn boiling here. And making some chickpea salad sandwich from Keep It Carb, one of my favorite easy recipes to make. Angie and I are actually collaborating together on this one. So I'll show you when it's done. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I like to cover it so it doesn't all fly. Oh really? Like that. Immersion blender by the way. I mean, you could just do this manually with this big spoon, I guess, but this it's makes it hard way, way easier. Even I can make this. <laughs> so there it is. Our, what do you call it again? This is the chickpea salad sandwich. Got some arugula and lettuce on top. Tomatoes from Farmer's Market. Delicious corn as well. Sourdough bread. Mm -mm. Guess what Angie's making? Ooh, it's made. This is it. Oh, oh my. I am going to put it in the freezer. Oh my god. We're going to eat that later today? Well, yeah, hopefully. All right. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to be going out to our friend Arturo's house. He's actually having a, you'll see, this really fancy custom pizza party. But before we go, I'm going to have this bowl of kitchery. Angie was kind enough to make us this big pot here earlier. And um, yeah, I'm going to have a little bite of food before I go eat food because it'll probably be at least an hour plus before any pizza is going down. Awesome. 
Like, like a little child. There it goes in the oven. Yeah, like Hot rad. There's our pizza. Yeah, I roasted some squash for you. Oh, it's so good. Yellow squash and green squash. And then there's the garden basil and the tomato sauce. It smells delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Wow. Right. It's really good. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I love is. it. Awesome. Mm. So we're going to split this, maybe use some more. Yeah, I know. We might need two, huh? Yeah, we might need two. All right. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, well, we're back from the little pizza party. Actually, we had two of those pizzas, so one pizza each of us, but we're still a little hungry, so we're hitting back um, that kitchery that Angie made earlier. I've got a bowl. She's got a bowl. Mm. So let me know if you like this kind of video, seeing how I train and what I eat in a day like this. Uh, I'll make more of them if you like that. Um, ask any questions or comments you got down below. I'll try my best to answer them. And subscribe for more for me and Angie here at Happy Healthy Vegan. So until next time, guys, I'm going to keep on doing it. Keep it carved, baby. Keep it carved. Our pizza getting made <laughs> for us. Squash, <laughs> huh? Different varieties of squash, basil from the garden, and the San Marzano tomato sauce. Awesome.